Testing, testing. One, two, three, testing. Um, Liz, that's not actually a microphone. That's your new webcam. What? Oh. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> testing, testing. One, two, three, testing. <laughs> So I have good news and bad news. The bad news is I'm a little bit sick, so this video is not going to be the most exuberant of all my videos. The good news is I'm a little bit sick, so I'm actually going to make a video because I don't have the mental capacity to focus and read, which is what I probably should be doing. So I'm going to make a video, but it's going to be a little bit loopy. Luckily I have footage of things that are not me sick, so you don't have to watch an entire video of me sick. But first I have a couple of exciting news updates. First of all, you might have noticed I cut my hire. It's getting a little too spooky, so I gotta cut. The other exciting news update is I got a new webcam, which you can't see because it is filming me. You saw it in the intro. It's a Logitech Quick Cam Pro for notebooks. I don't know if it's better or worse. It's kind of just in time because my other video camera, this one, the one that I fixed to replace the other video camera that broke, is starting to go on the fritz. You can see the picture in here, but not in here. There's no picture. I don't know why my video cameras keep breaking. It's very strange. I can't explain it. <laughs> This is my first week of classes. I'm trying to go to a bunch of different ones, so I have a lot of options. I'm going to like eight or nine classes this week, but I'm learning a lot of interesting things. I'm gonna to try to get an interesting factoid from each class, and then in my next video, I'll share like eight or nine interesting factoids with you. I was kind of thinking of letting our viewers decide which classes I should take, like a kind of Big Brother American Idol voting extravaganza, but then I thought maybe that's not actually the best way to, you know, determine our lives and shape our society. Anyway, I promise I had some things besides me sick and rambling to show you, which I do. So first of all, you might remember from the the video I made after I finished finals, a little something like this, and something like this. And I told you those songs were courtesy of my friend Ira and his band Even So, and I said he was gonna make a cameo in an upcoming video. This is that video, and this is that cameo. Hey, it's just the sound fans. My name's Ira. I'm Sam. We play in a band called Even So. Liz dropped us a line and said that she was gonna be using one of our songs in an upcoming future Sister Salad video. It's a current video. Oh. They're, they're watching it now. It was future when she emailed you. Now it's current. Okay, so you probably just heard our song. Just so. now. Even So is a Baltimore-based indie rock band. We've got two fabulous EPs that you can purchase on uh, cdbaby.com and uh, on iTunes. Actually, it's probably a good time to point out, Sam has a broken hand and he's the driver. Five pounds. So we need your purchase so that Sam can pay, my medical pay his good. medical bills. This is a recession, people. It is real. If you want to hear more about our music, you can go to myspace.com slash even so. If you're curious how we know Liz and all the Sister Salad crew, this is a true story. I met Liz in Valdez, Alaska at the uh, Last Frontier Playwriting Conference because uh, guess what, guys? Liz, also playwright. Whoa! We hope you like the music. We'll see you later. Rock on, Sister Salad. Thanks, guys. Also, I have some footage of Stephanie's bookcase. I wanted to share it with you. Stephanie has a really amazing book collection. Eventually, I want to read all of them. We've got the requisite Harry Potter shelf. We have a series of self-help books for children. And then here, at first I thought this shelf was a collection of literature, but then I realized it was a collection of books that are excellent when you add in your pants to the end of them. The Inferno in your pants, Letters to a Young Poet in your pants, Brave New World in your pants, The Stranger in your pants, and of course, Ernest Hemingway's The Farewell to Arms in your pants. No more arms, just legs, from now on. All right, that's all I got. I gotta go to bed or something. See you later, and hopefully next time I won't be so bad. This could be terrible. I could be recording all this, and it could just be terrible.